Comanche is a series of simulation games published by Novologic. The goal of each of these games is to fly military missions in a RA-66 Comanche attack helicopter, which was in development and prototyping at the time of release. Comanche was the first commercial flight simulation based on Voxel technology via the company's proprietary Voxel Space Engine written entirely in assembly language. This rendering technique allowed for much more detailed and realistic terrain compared to simulations based on vector graphics at that time. <laughs> Games Throughout the years, several games and add-ons have been published Comanche – Maximum Overkill 1992. Comanche – Global Challenge 1993, three new campaigns Comanche – Over the Edge 1993, four new campaigns Comanche CD 1994, a compilation of Maximum Overkill and Mission Discs, plus ten bonus missions Re-released in 1997 from SoftK as Comanche CD Special Edition. Includes a demo of America Online, and features Windows 95 compatibility. Comanche 2 1995. Werewolf vs. Comanche 2.0 a pack of two games with a compatible multiplayer mode. Comanche 3 1997. Comanche Gold 1998 Comanche 3 with additional campaigns and various enhancements Comanche 4 2001 a port of the original Comanche game was in development for the Super NES using the Super FX powered GSU2 but was eventually cancelled Comanche 3 debuted the Voxel Space 2 engine Topic reception Computer Gaming World's reviewer — United States Army Aviation AW-64 pilot Brian Walker — liked Comanche Maximum Overkill in 1993, calling it an «eye-popping glimpse into 21st-century helicopter warfare». He stated that it created a «more believable terrain model than the Army's combat mission simulator» and was the first game to replicate «the thrill of low-altitude flying». Walker enjoyed the flight model's stability and ease of use, and reported that the cockpit corresponded to MANPRINT manpower and personnel integration principles. He compared the helicopter's handling as akin to a slug. Joystick jocks may end up gritting their teeth, and also criticized the meager choice of missions and enemy targets, and the unrealistically high durability and weapon loads. Walker nonetheless concluded that Cutting-edge graphics firepower gives it the edge to sweep more than a couple of competitors off the battlefield." In 1993 Walker reviewed Mission Disc 1 for the magazine, stating that he "...honesty expected more from an add-on disc that retails for $40." He criticized the lack of improvement in the flight model. "...CMO's Comanche still flies like Barney Fife is at the controls," and concluded that it is like refueling a gunship without rearming it." In 1994 Walker liked the harder difficulty of the over-the-edge mission discs, 40 tough new missions," as well as the improved graphics and controls. He concluded that the expansion, "...clearly shows the superiority of the new features and makes for a far more enjoyable game." Walker also liked the Comanche CD compilation but only recommended it to those new to the game or without the expansions. He reiterated, however, that, "...many of the limitations I noted in my review of the original CMO are still present it would be nice to see Novologic produce a chopper title on par with Falcon 3.0 in the technical realism arena." A reviewer for Next Generation opined that, "...for pure multiplayer action, Werewolf vs. Comanche is hard to beat." He noted that because the two crafts are on separate discs, gamers only needed to buy half as many copies of the game as the number of players in a network session. He scored it 4 out of 5 stars. Comanche Maximum Overdrive was nominated for an award at the 1993 Game Developers Conference. Comanche 3 was the best selling helicopter title of 1997, as well as the top selling combat simulation of the year. In the United States, it sold 62,650 copies and earned $3.01 million in 1997. 
The overall Comanche series achieved combined global sales of 2.5 million copies by November 2001, before the release of Comanche 4. Comanche Mac received 4 out of 5 stars from Mocassar. <laughs>